So I just watched Gladiators 2 and the question is, was I entertained? It's been a while since I've seen the first Gladiators, but what I remember is that it was full of sex, violence, and more violence. So when I heard they were going to do a sequel to this epic film and they're bringing back Ridley Scott to direct, which is a director that I believe has a lot of hits, but also a lot of misses as well, House of Gucci. And then bring in like elite actors such as Denzel Washington, probably one of the greatest actors of all time in this movie. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance. And I've watched it and there's things I liked and there's things I didn't. And I'm going to break it down to you right now. Let's start with the good. It is what you expect from a gladiator film. Let's be honest. You know, you're going to get one monologue here and there. You're going to get a lot of violence. You're going to get a lot of action. And you're going to get some good performances. Now, I got more than just good. I got amazing. Denzel Washington really shows up in this film. Now, the trailers lied to me. And I won't spoil what happens. But he's in the film more than I expected him to be. And he did what <laughs> He gave one of those performances, so much so that I believe he may even get an Oscar nomination for his supporting role because he did really good. Now, another big actor in this film for me is not Paul Mescal. It's actually Joseph Quinn. I know, right? The guy from Stranger Things is out doing Paul Mescal. He played a really good villain that kind of just took you on a wild journey. And that's when things start to go south for me because... You know when someone's really good at skating and it's someone that's not good at skating and they're skating next to each other, it really shows the person is not really good at skating. So Joseph Quinn is really good at acting, but there's someone next to him in this film that's not doing the best. And also Pedro Pascal. Now, his performance, I'll be honest with you, he was on cruise control. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great. No, it was given, it was given, I'm in between projects right now. I'm doing Fantastic Four. I'm doing The Last of Us part two, possibly, or part one. I don't know what time they started filming, but he definitely gave, I'm in between projects right now. I'm going to give the best I can. And I'm honest with you, it was good. It was a solid performance. You can't be mad at it, but <laughs> it's nothing that stands out. Paul Mascal did a good job. Don't get me wrong. He had some moments, but I'll tell you right now, he's not the best cryer. It be like he was trying to laugh. Find your emotions. Find it. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Now, the history behind the movie as well, in terms of it being accurate. There's sharks in the Colosseum. Do I think that was true? I don't know, but I don't care. The score, where was it? Music did not stand out in this film. Now, there's a lot of music in it, but none of it stands out. The first half of the movie, I was not sold. I was watching it and I was just like, you're giving me the same cliche storytelling that essentially the first one already gave me and you're doing it like in a higher pace like certain people are dying quicker certain motion moments are happening faster and i feel like you're not letting me settle in you're not making me believe in these characters before the trials and tribulations happen but then <laughs> my man came in <laughs> denzel came in and the moment he came in is when the movie shifted for me personally and through there I was sold, I was into it. And I actually really enjoyed this film. It's what you can expect from a Gladiator film, action, gore, and some good performances. And it delivers on that. I do think it does fall short at certain moments. And most importantly, unfortunately, there's no like huge monologue in this film. Like the first Gladiator had, we know the speeches. I had maximum, we, we know this. This film didn't have it and that's the thing about sequels. You have to live up to the first and it doesn't. Does it make it a bad film? No. But unfortunately, we're human beings. We're always going to compare. And if you compare it to the first one, it's not it. But as a film itself, it's a solid, good blockbuster action film. Check out Gladiators 2. It's in cinemas right now. I urge you guys to watch it and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And let me know what I should view next. I'm Jennifer Outtake. Peace.